everyone. This is Molly, your director of the Dream Fulfiller Sensi team. Um, just wanted to do a quick video about uh, basket parties. I know we have a lot of new people on our team, and I just kind of wanted to sh mostly show them. Um, and for some of you newer consultants who you know have been doing this a short amount of time and really haven't done any basket parties, um, this is just what I put together for a basket party. So, um, first off, you get your set of, I get the mini testers from the uh, Sensi Family Store. Uh, they're only $25, and then you can get mini tester kits to uh, switch over for fall and winter. Um, I love how compact they are. If I wanted to, I could just give this out, um, but I find that I get more success if I put a little, a little bit more into my basket parties. So, you always want to have your mini testers. Then, I have... This nice little bag. Now, this is from Scentsy. Um, purchased it from the Scentsy Family Store, but you can use any bag you like. Um, I recommend, especially for um, in the, uh, well, I mean, any time of year, but if you live in hotter places or if it's summertime, definitely get a thermal insulated bag so it prevents melting um, easier. Uh, tell your hostesses, obviously, don't leave these in the car. Don't leave them anywhere where they could melt. But this at least gives you a little added, uh, added protection of your own personal stock. So have that. Then other things that I like to put in my bag, um, just to kind of give them an idea, I throw a scent pack in there so they can kind of see what the scent packs are. I throw a car bar car bar in there so they can see about our car bars, which are some of my personal favorites. Um, other things I throw in, I throw in a uh, bar of the scent of the month. Um, I have more baskets than what I get in the warmer of the month for testers, so I like to throw a bar in there. Plus, it shows um, maybe people who haven't heard of Scentsy and they're coming for the first time uh, to a party or meeting up with someone for the first time. This kind of shows them what the bars are. They, you know, the hostess can talk about how you break them up and put them in your warmer, that type of thing. So I put those in my basket parties. Then uh, for catalogs, I only put about four to five in each bag, um, just because if I give out more, they tend to get lost and ruined and it just seems like a lot. If a hostess needs more and calls me for more, I will certainly bring more. But to start out with, I kind of want these treated as precious because, I mean, they are a little expensive for us. I mean, not a little expensive, but it's it's an investment from us. Um, these are our personal business supplies and I don't like to just roll them at anybody. So again, four to five catalogs, depending on um, if I know the hostess has done parties before and she does really well, I'll put, you know, a little more in there. But um, to start out, four to five is perfect. Inside of these, I like to put the Need More Sensi about hosting a party. So it, you know, gets an idea of um, in the guest head that, hey, why am, you know, I can support my friend, but next time I'm going to do the party because this is, you know, how much I get free. I put one of uh, these in every single uh, catalog. I also put the Why Choose Scentsy Fragrance about joining. Um, and this month to, well, the next couple months with the Power Up Your Business promotion, I plan on, um, I've printed out a couple flyers. I don't have them here, sorry. And um, I'm going to put one or two in each bag too. So at least the hostess sees, oh, hey, you know, I could, you know, if I sign up and, you know, I sell $1,000 and get a recruit, I could, you know, earn a tablet. I mean, that's insane. That's awesome. So we, uh, I like putting these in there so it gets, you know, the brain juice is flowing for uh, potential recruits. Um, Oh, another thing that I put in there, I like to put a room spray. I love the room sprays. I don't mind if they, you know, spray a squirt or two of this to see what it smells like. Um, I get a lot of orders of room sprays when I put these in my basket parties. So there you go. And again, I get a lot of them from my warmer of the month kit. So um, I have some on hand sometimes and like to throw them in there. Okay. Um, I also like to throw in our diffuser product information flyers. Um, I throw one of these in each of the catalogs and then maybe an extra two just by the order forms. Just getting the word out there more about our refusers, a little bit more information. 
Um, and I find that that does really well. If they don't order one, they think, ooh, the hostess definitely wants one. And so she works a little harder because she sees how awesome this diffuser is, right? Okay. Then I throw in our flyer. And again, in each one of the uh, catalogs of the warmer of the month. And it also has the information about the scent of the month. And then also handy on the back, they show all the previous warmers of the month. So they think, oh, that snail is adorable. Or, oh, I really want a warmer I can color on my own. And they might have missed out on the promotion, but they can still get the warmer. This is a good sales tool. So one of those in each catalog as well. Then something I knew I've started since I got samples uh, from World Tour and um, I will continue to buy these samples because they're awesome. I give these as a little thank you to my hostess for having a party. And I give them to her right away at the beginning of the party. Because if she loves this, she's going to tell everybody. Seriously, she's going to tell all her friends like, oh my gosh, I've never tried the laundry stuff before and this is fantastic. My clothes smelled amazing. They felt great. They got so clean and it's scentsy. Come on. So I give these out and it has increased my sales for laundry products. So something to think about um, if you're looking for a little hostess gifts to give away because let's be honest, everybody loves free stuff. No matter how small it is, no matter how you know expensive it was to you, they're just going to say, wow, she gives stuff away and you know, hey, that made my day that I got something free. So there you go. Okay. And last but not least, I like to put in the order forms. Now, for you new consultants, this is our order form. I like to highlight, for me, the most important information that I want them to fill out. I don't need their state and I don't need their uh, city if I have their zip code, right? So I just want their name, their address, their zip. Then I want the hostess name. I want their phone number. And um, since I'm a stay at home mom, day phone number is fine. If they, and most people just have cell phones nowadays, so their day and night number is pretty much the same. And then I want their email address because I love sending out emails. I like doing, you know, little personal specials. So getting out the email address is imperative for me. So if you highlight what you want them to fill out, they are more likely to fill that out feeling like, oh, she needs it, rather than if you just give this to them blank. They're just going to write their name on there and then fill out their order. So I find I get a lot of success by highlighting information so that it seems a little more urgent. Um, I do mine in pink because I like pink and plus it pops. So, alrighty, that is about it. Um, I will stuff my bag and hand it out to my hostess today. And hopefully, you know, in the next week, I get a lot of great orders and get a lot of good leads on new recruits, um, new hostesses, and a lot of great information. If you have any questions for me, um, or if you have any better ideas for me, or just want to talk to me a little bit more about the joining opportunity, go ahead and you can friend me on Facebook or find me at kidsafecandles.com. And I'm more than happy to chat with you about what I do for basket parties. Um, I hope you guys all have a great day and we'll talk to you again soon.